So this uh, recent rise in inflation is due to a combination of factors um, from corporate profiteering and more extreme climate related weather events. Um, but it's ultimately down to our continued dependence on fossil fuels. International oil and gas, gas prices are extremely volatile, as we've seen in recent years from the impact of the pandemic, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And even just this week, we've seen oil prices go up again following US the US announcing they're going to send more troops into the Middle East. So it's really just continued evidence that our dependence on fossil fuels is going to continue to keep prices rising because ultimately we need energy to produce everything else. So that's going to uh, filter down and continue keeping prices up. And really, because we've seen from the Bank of England attempts to try and curb this inflation with interest rates has not been successful because interest rates are a blunt tool in fighting this kind of inflation because it's caused by supply side factors. Um, so sadly, I'm afraid this shows that the cost of living crisis is far from over and average families and everyone up and down the country is going to continue to be hit by higher prices. Is there any sense of despair then in your field of expertise and with colleagues? I mean, you touched on it there, that, that the Bank of England does appear pretty limited to having just one main tool in its box to tackle inflation, i.e., as you said, interest rates. I mean, are there, are there other options? Yeah, thankfully, there are a couple of options, both short and long term. So something that would be great to see is for our new Chancellor, Rachel Reeves, to restore a green mandate for the Bank of England, um, which will enable it to reprioritise climate um, across all its operations, which is something we've sadly seen it backslide on in, in recent years. Um, also, just more coordination between the Bank of England and the government to help us shift public and private investment towards the green transition, because the more we can do to boost our levels of homegrown Cream, clean green energy um, and just a weenus of fossil fuels and um, that is exactly the kind of investment we need to prevent future price shocks like this from happening.